The Brown County Salvation Army is lending a helping hand to families in need this holiday season. And Emily Deem is live at Shopco Hall for their annual Christmas distribution. Good morning, Em. Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everybody. I'm standing next to these empty boxes this morning, but soon they will be filled with food for families in need in Brown County. It's all part of the Salvation Army Christmas distribution that's going on today and tomorrow at Shopco Hall in Ashwaubenon. Um, what they get is they get a toy, they get books, the families that are pre-qualified for this assistance. Then what they do is come around back of Shopco Hall and actually get a box filled with food to tell me a little bit more. Steve Yant is here with me, Director of Operations for the Brown County Salvation Army. Steve, good morning. Good morning, Emily. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Great. And right now we're going to show everybody how these boxes okay. are filled and what food they have. Sure. So tell me really quick what kind of food these folks are going to get. Oh, they get all kinds of stuff. We have a bag of potatoes over here on this side, as you can see. Uh, on this side we have cans of applesauce over here. We're going to make a basket as we're doing this as okay. well. We've got applesauce and potatoes. We're going to move right down the line here. We have some green beans on this side. Excellent. Thank you, Emily. We <laughs> also have some traditional spaghetti sauce as well. I'm going to go in the box. We have some jello family size pudding here. And to match the spaghetti sauce, we also have, oddly enough, a box of spaghetti. Nice. Okay. Keep moving now. We get two cans of corn, okay. which go inside here. And then one packet of dinner rolls. And what you don't see as well, we do have a three pound chub of hamburger, wow. a gallon of milk, and an entire whole chicken, which will be outside in our frozen section, which go in these boxes as well. And this is all run by volunteers. You can see them back there, you know, taping up the boxes this morning. Steve, how many of these boxes are you going to be putting together? We have 3,019 families scheduled to come through this uh, shop quality distribution between today and tomorrow. So it, it takes a and uh, pun intended, army of volunteers to make this happen. And these boxes filled with food, they're going to go a long way for these families. Tell us about that. Yeah, it, it's, it's a great meal here. You know, it can serve a family of, we try to probably get two meals out of this with spaghetti chicken. And hopefully it can get a good couple meals for a family of five to six here and uh, provide them a, a very nice Christmas meal and then some. And how grateful are you, Steve, for your volunteers out here? Well, we, <laughs> we, we can't do what we do without the help of others. So uh, we rely on the volunteers and, and there's hundreds of volunteers and make this entire distribution happen and we couldn't do it without them and and we always thank them for helping us help others well we thank you steve for joining us this no morning problem. showing us how this is all going to go down today it starts at nine this morning and nine tomorrow morning too like we said they're going to be coming back behind shopco hall and picking up their box of food so a great thing just in time for christmas too you guys will send it back to you it really is great thanks emily